I just heard. Yeah. The likely culprit is a pork tapeworm, probably from some dodgy burger shed in New York. So, no brain tumour? No tumour. No cancer. You hear that, my darling? You do not have cancer. Hallelujah. Whatever that worm was doing was mimicking the symptoms of Addison's. I'm driving Harper out of her mind. Did you get all of it? We think so. We've got an expert coming in to analyse it. Um, hopefully too immature to have laid more eggs. Please, God, no. Meanwhile, I thought it would be a good idea to have another look at the scan, given what we missed. So... Yeah, there's the... There's the lesion right there. That still looks like a tumour to me. I agree. Sneaky little bugger. How long till she wakes up? She should sleep through till morning. Maybe you should go home and get some rest. Uh, no thanks. I have to be here when she wakes up. I mean, she will be fine, right? No lasting damage? Hopefully. Thanks, Freckles. What? I thought it was a tumour. Have you seen Drew? No, but um, I'm having a few issues with my swipe card. It's just not giving me access to the rooms I need. Well, talk to my inferior junior. Mm, you're right, she is inferior. She's useless. I bet you'd have this sorted out in two seconds, a smart cookie like you. Well, all right. I suppose I could help a damsel in distress. Hey, Nick, um, can I talk to you very quickly? Uh, can, can it wait? I'm just wanting to see Harper. Right, yeah, I heard there was no brain tumour. The brain parasite is not as bad as it sounds. Oh, speak for yourself. Talk about the vom. Look, I'm just looking for more shifts if there's anything up for grabs. Um, we're one down in ED, the Savo. No good. He's busy today. Hey, no, I can do that. And tomorrow morning, too. What are you on about? I, I don't have time for this. Can you get back to me when you know your own schedule? <laughs> this is better be good. Oh, it'll be way better than burying yourself. Please, Drew. Looking at Billy. Oh, I bet you can't wait. Mm, I need that cuddle so bad. Yeah, you've been to hell and back. How could I not know what was happening to me, Nick? I saw the scan. It fooled everyone. I'm a doctor. I, I know about cases like these. I'm meant to be good at diagnosing them. And others. It's hard when something's slowly changing you from the inside. Mm. Turning you into a horrible person you don't even want to know. Hey, you were unwell. I was a bitch. <laughs> to Drew especially. Just, I hurt him. I pushed him away. He understands now. OK? It's over. Is it, though? What do you mean? I know I've got an excuse for all the damage I've caused, but what if that's not enough? Drew loves you. <sighs> He couldn't even stay out of the operating room. He was so scared of losing you. Now I'm scared of losing him. Don't be. I hurt him, Nick. I, I made him feel like he wasn't worthy. That he needed to fix himself before he could be with me. And the whole time I was the one who needed fixing. Let's go, go.